Hey babe, so I'm back with another video. Uh, today I'm here with my mum, this is Andrea. Um, we have spent the day shopping today. I did vlog a little bit around the shops and things, just showing you guys what we're new in and what I liked. We shoot some ladies bits and some kids bits, but how brave I'll be in actually uploading that, I'm not too sure, you have to bear with me. Um, we started off this morning at nine o'clock, I know, nine o'clock on a Saturday morning, this close to Christmas, crazy. The queues were a bit crazy and the city was packed. Um, and then we came home, had a bite to eat and a bit of a hot chocolate. And then we went back out again to Riverside and thought we'd have a little mooch around the shops there. Um, so we're gonna pick, show you what we picked up. We started off in next. So did you wanna show what you got next? So the first thing I picked up was our power stretch leggings, which are jeans, but they're called leggings. Yeah, they've got a fully functioning open button and zip. And they've they're got not belt like pull on loops. leggings. They've got pockets on the back. They are extremely stretchy. They are the most stretchy jeans. They are so similar to Topshop jeans within their stretch. And they look the same on. Yeah. And they are really black, which is what I really like about them because I don't like jeans that look kind of washed Faded. black. I like a dark black black. So yeah, I'm really happy with How those. How much were they? They were £26 and I picked those up in a size 8 regular. Nice. I also picked up the high rise skinny um, black jeans in the leather look. Um, basically the same things. They've got pockets They've on the got back. Belt loops. Belt loops, zip Always and button. And the length on those is perfect for me. I'm five foot three and they are really comfortable. I wear them I feel every like, winter. Yeah, I feel like these are a staple to have in your wardrobe. I mean, I've had them in brown and black previous years. You've had them in cream black have you had a brown pair yeah burgundy yeah oh yeah the burgundy was new look all those chocolate years ago. I about them i've had lots like of like they just colors. make everything look a little bit smarter whether you're wearing a t-shirt or a jumper or a nice shirt whether you're wearing boots trainers or shoes like they just make every outfit look a little bit smarter yeah I and they're so comfortable they and really for 26 are. pounds for a pair of trousers i think that's really good um, I like last, that how stretchy so, they are and how bend, how much yeah. you can bend in them. So they're really nice. So they're my two my two purchases from Next. They were twenty six pounds as well. Um, the one thing I will say with Next, in my experience, I mean, I think it's more for your generation than what it is for mine and for the younger generation. But I mean, black jeans, black jeans, wherever you buy them, and if you do go in there, there's always something. Whether it be a nice jumper or lounge set or dressing gown, slippers, underwear, there's always something really nice in there. All I would say is just size down because I find their sizes a bit big. Yeah. But that makes me feel good that I can fit in a small size pair of jeans. So win-win. Win-win. And then we went to New Look and I actually picked up this, which is a teddy bear. I've really got into my teddy bear things lately. It's a teddy bear jumper. It's got cuffed sleeves. It's got the drawstring waist, big handy pocket on the front. I love these for winter and a half zip with a full collar. Now, I've never had a full collar like this. I've never had anything with a half zip, but actually I couldn't wait to not wear this. So I wore this when we went back out again and it's so warm and cozy around your neck. It's I mean, so I only soft. had a vest underneath and no coat, but that is so warm for how lightweight it is. They come in a small, medium or large. So I picked up a medium so that it was really comfortable. But like I said, with the drawstring waist, it actually kind of looks quite flattering, I found. Yeah, it looked really nice. Um, and it was 19 99 They also did it in black, but oh, I love it. I'm very, very happy that I bought that one. And I picked up a shacket. A what? A shacket. A what? A shacket. A shirt jacket. And it is in this pink and grey check. It's fleece lined and <laughs> it's got pockets in the sides and pockets on the front that do open and close yeah they're real pockets and they're not the pretend flap just something that i would chuck on with a pair of jogger bottoms crop top and just wear around the house with covid this year i feel like all i've wanted is cozy uh, mum's never ever worn joggers or leggings in her life no don't wear so now like since that. covid and lockdown i live she's got in into jogger tracksuits. bottoms and um, slouchy comfy clothes so yeah i also think this would look that. nice with like a pair of dark black jeans or grey jeans and then the white vest top and white trainers i think that would look kind of cool just shoved on over the yeah. top yeah really, no, like, I really that. like that i was quite chuffed with that 
And then we went to Primark and it all just went downhill. The budget was just blown as soon as we stepped in the door. So the main thing that I picked up and my most favourite thing that we both actually bought, we And we bought, weren't together. We left each other and came back together and we both had the same pair of pyjamas. Which isn't a coincidence. So they are these beautifully soft cream ribbed long sleeve top with a drawstring waist. They're actually a part of the new sustainable range um, with the brown tags on. Um, oh, I can't even tell you how soft these are. So they've That's got the, the cuff around the wrist. They've got the drawstring, which actually is a workable drawstring. I and hate when they just look legs. for decoration. Yeah, they've got cuffed ankles. And they were eight so pounds soft. for the top and eight pounds for the bottom. I mean, the one thing I will say is I would usually get small and I sized up for a medium because the waist does tighten. I've got room for my Christmas dinner, but I also decided I was gonna pick it up in the matching vest as well. So I could wear the trousers with the vest or the trousers with the long sleeve top. I did buy the vest in a small, um, as, as you said, the top and the bottoms were both eight pounds and the vest was five pounds, but they did actually also do it in shorts. Yes. They had a little pair of shorts, so you could always wear the vest with the shorts or the long sleeve top with the shorts. And then you picked up some booty slippers, didn't you? And I bought some booty slippers to go with mine. I, I actually bought her these for Christmas last year. She didn't like them, so she bought a new pair. I did like them, but the bobble, the pom poms, fell off straight away. Were they pink? And once they fell off, I didn't like them anymore. But for five pounds, you can't really go wrong with Primark slippers, can you? No, they they are nice, and I like booties because they keep your ankles and your feet warm. And I'm always freezing. Whereas I opted for this pair. I think these are what I've bought mum for Christmas, but they're already wrapped and we've kind of forgotten. But if you look at the way they match perfectly, they're cream and they're ribbed. They've got the bow, they've got fur, they've got silver detailing, but I just think they go so perfectly with the whole pyjama set. So we'll be matching on Christmas day because I mean, how cute. <laughs> for five pounds again primark slippers and they've got a solid base as well now, i don't like slippers that have got a really flimsy base now this has got to be my favorite thing that i bought all day and this is the primark cream dressing gown with fur, fur cuffs. around the cuffs and fur and the around collar. the collar um drawstring in the middle how much was this it's long it was 15 pounds and i picked it up in a size small and to be honest, I can't wait to put this on. It is the soft, it feels like a blanket. I've actually bought one for Christmas and you were looking at this one when I was going to buy you one and I said, pick which one you want. What made yes. you go for the other one? I wanted a pink one and I still want a pink yeah. one. But I this also one, wanted, I the wanted the cream neutral. Cream one. And this is a lot longer. It is a lot longer. This is a lot longer But I think our one that we one. bought is thicker than this. Yes. I feel like it's so a thicker material. So this is nice and soft for when I come out the bath and I just want to chuck on a robe. And in the mornings lovely. when I get them and have a, make a cup of make tea. A cup of tea. So yeah, I just really like that. That and fur is I think that's so, the so, I think this is like today. the faux rabbit fur. That, it's that really yes, soft one like those really blankets is. we've got. It's really, really lovely. So yeah, I'm really, really happy with that. Then I picked up a couple of necklace sets. I actually um, picked this one. Didn't Naomi I? picked this one up for me. Um, it's just three chains for three pounds. For three pounds, and then I picked up a big chunkier one, which I thought would look nice on jumpers. Just dress them up a little bit. I always wear necklaces. Yeah, um, you tend to wear more fashionable necklaces whereas although you've got sentimental necklaces i'm more of a sentimental necklace wearer you always look a bit more put together because all your jewelry you wear bigger earrings bigger okay. necklaces more rings and the watch okay fair enough i'll take that put together Quite you like do look one. more put together than i do <laughs> then i bought my nails which i have been wearing for about the last three years these are one of my favorites which are the french glossies i also then picked up i love um, that pair. a glitter set for christmas they've got the little gem on and gold and black the little line on i thought they'd be nice for the the season that's coming so hopefully they'll um, and for two pounds you can't on. go wrong can you or two pounds <laughs> no, then i picked up my my good old trusty hair bubbles which is a pack of 60 for a pound everybody owns these but they just go missing so you always need more don't you where do they go i don't know where do mine do go them, but i wanted some more of these so i picked these up and then these i picked up for aria which i thought were really cute colors so you've got the cream, the green, the lilac and the pink because... They're to stay around your house for when, when you I do her hair in the mornings when I take her to school. Naomi will send half of her clothes, but we don't always have hair bubbles. So um, There's always something to forget when I you've thought, got a child, let's oh, be honest. 
I thought I'd, I would pick pick a packet of these up to keep in my house. Also, I picked up some stocking fillers for well, me. Well, Naomi picked these up and made me buy them. So there's some nail files in a little case, some black ones, and then there's a pink pink and black spotty one. Four for they a pound, were pound, that's really reasonable, but they just always go blank. And some nail scissors that she wants me to wrap and put in her stocking. So that gave me I'm 25 and I still have a stocking, but then you're nearly 50 and I still do you a stocking, so. Yeah, that's fair. Christmas I've, traditions. I've got, have, I've got to have my stocking. Yeah. Then we left Primark and we headed into Chapelfield H &M. and we went into h and I'm really confused about this because Chapelfield isn't Chapelfield anymore. It's called Chantry, Chantry Place. I've never heard it called that. I didn't know this was a, becoming a thing. I feel like we went into one lockdown with a chapel field and we've come out of lockdown with Chantry Place. I have no idea what that's all about. Is it even an into? Because it used to be into chapel field. No, I didn't look. But none of the logos that were originally there are there. It's just called Chantry Place now. So we went into H&M. Um, where's the coat gone? Oh. And I've been desperate for a new coat, but I just keep finding ones that aren't exactly what I want. And Mum and I have a very old, iconic photo from the year 2015, where we're in the new look fitting room, and we both have a coat very similar to this. Yours was a camel colour with brown fur, and mine was black with the brown fur. Um, so we were identical, just in different coloured coats. And I feel like that's one of our most loved photos over the years of me and you. And we both lived in those coats. I've I still, still got mine now. And I won't part with yeah, it. Yeah, I won't part with it. But it is from 2015. It's five years old. I've got bigger since then. Mine's very bally on the cuffs. Yeah, because it's a wool blend as well. But I won't part with but it. But I won't part with it. No, I absolutely love it. But then when I saw this, which is basically the, the cream same. version, I was so happy. And even better... It was reduced from fifty nine ninety nine to thirty pounds, so I was extremely happy. It's so thick and warm. It's got a waterproof lining on the inside. You've got the fur hood, which you can actually remove. Fur hood, fur collar, and you can actually remove it and just wear it as a plain cream jacket. But I don't think I'd bother no, doing, I don't that. Think be doing that. I mean. I just absolutely love it. It's got the double pop poppers on the inside and it's also got the tie drawstring waist. I just, I am in love with this. I shall pop a photo on my Instagram of what it looks like and you will probably already see in the vlog that I had tried on a few other coats in Primark that just didn't suit me half as well as what this one does. I feel quite feminine in this. That was lovely. That Even though nice it was in the sale. So there was a size 4 and a size 14. And you and tried the 4. if it had been any more, I would have had it. But the 4 wasn't the going four, around me you couldn't, at all. Like stretching, could you? <laughs> no. And the 14 is too big. But because it's got the tie waist, I feel quite a little lovely. flattering in it. And you I love it. a big jumper on the underneath £30. It. Pounds, that was a bargain. That's my favourite favorite purchase of the day and i picked up some jumpers in there and in this the is sale. just an oatmeal um high neck jumper with bell sleeves. bell sleeves cuffs and a cuffed bottom and that was nine pounds from 19.99 it's really thick i picked that up in a medium and yeah i really like that jumper so that was for nice. nine pounds yeah that was really Love nice it. then i picked up a Cream, fine knit. fine knit off the shoulder boxy kind of top just to sling on. it looks massive for a medium that does look massive but it is I've oversized say, i guess and not being yeah. funny i haven't tried it on so i don't know but that was seven pounds from 15 so again it was half price and the last thing i would I never pay 15 pounds today for that. was a pink um jumper can i be honest and that was six pounds i'm not as keen not on as this keen now on this we've one. got at home it looked but nicer on the hanger it was six pounds exactly it's and not exactly it's a, big a bargain just to chuck, chuck on around on the, the house with a pair of jeans or leggings so yeah i was quite happy with that it's so very cozy that was the last item i picked up today so we had a really good successful day didn't we yeah we did have a really as i good say day. i did film it vlog style when we were in the shops and things <clears throat> I just need to figure out editing and see how I go. <laughs> I'm not very confident with it, but um, maybe I'll upload it. Who knows? We'll see what, what it turns out like. <coughs> Excuse me. So, yeah, thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, please give it a big thumbs up. This is the first video I've had my mum in, and I'm sure it will be the first of many. I'm Someone asked me if I could do a QA and a with you, oh which I'm dying to do. <laughs> Love to get some juicy questions in there of my own, I'm not going to lie. 
<laughs> I do, um, I don't know that I like the side of that one. But if you liked it, give us a thumbs up. Naomi needs to um, get the um, viewers and the subscribers up, so please help her along her journey. The start of it anyway. <clears throat> and hopefully it'll be a successful long journey. Yes, fingers crossed. So thank you for watching. I've been Naomi. This is my mum. This is my channel. Bye, guys.